All right, welcome back. Your next guest launched a 3D printed home business to fight the affordability crisis. His company, Alquist 3D, completed the first ever owner occupied printed home in Williamsburg, Virginia in 2021. Look at that, 3D printed. 3D printing is about 15 to 20 percent cheaper when compared to regular home construction. And perhaps the biggest selling point, houses can be printed in just 48 hours. And they can also be designed to withstand extreme weather. Joining us now with more is Zachary Manheimer, Alquist 3D founder and chair. Uh, Zach, good morning. I mean, OK, Williamsburg, Virginia. I don't know if that's Kings Mill or where that might be, but that is a beautiful home. But what exactly can you 3D print? I'm sure the house has added siding and shutters and things like that. What is your or is that truly your finished product? Uh, good morning. Uh, yes, we can 3D print the walls and foundation of a home. Uh, there's more of a home that we can print as well, uh, made out of other materials besides concrete. But our focus at the moment is 3D printing the uh, exterior structure of that home so we can get that done faster and more affordably. Yeah, and I'm watching some videos uh, that you have on your website. I would imagine that when I look at a nation, not just here, but around the world, that has a housing shortage, you can probably be a big part of the solution because particularly in some emerging markets, there's got to be massive demand for, for not only well-built to extreme weather, storms, et cetera, but low-cost homes that can be easily replicable. That, that's exactly right. And we're seeing the demand from all over the world. Uh, I mean, here in America, we've got a housing shortage between four and five million homes. Uh, globally, that's even much larger. And we here in America are focused on where we live in a country where wealth generation is largely based upon home ownership. We need to get folks back to the American dream of owning a home. And we've gone far away from that for decades. And if uh, there was any weird silver lining to COVID, which of course is a weird thing to say, it's simply that it finally showed a light on how bad the housing crisis actually is, not just in major cities, but in small communities across the country. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, median home, we're looking at some of the housing stats. Are your homes built out of concrete? I'm watching the video, it's, your, your 3D printer is just kind of layering. It almost looks like a, like a gigantic tube of toothpaste. What, what is the material? What are you building this out of? There it is. Uh, we're not using Crest or Aquafresh just yet. Uh, so, so the house today, doesn't smell minty fresh? Uh, I'm sure we could do that at some point. But uh, right now, uh, it's, a, it's a concrete mix. So we use uh, certain additives to make the concrete stronger, to make it lay down faster so that we can print faster. But at the end of the day, this is largely concrete. It's a concrete structure. And we've been building concrete structures around the world for hundreds of years. This is simply a different method of doing it. Instead of pouring it in a form with traditional concrete, we extrude it with a giant robot, which is weird. Uh, but otherwise, it's a very similar uh, product as a concrete structure. Now, we can, that tube look that you're seeing, uh, that's what it looks like if we don't touch it. There's a lot of different nozzles that we've designed. You can do different designs for the exterior or interior walls. Obviously, you can paint it. You can dye it. There's a lot of different looks, and that allows for the flexibility of this brand new technology that's just emerging. You know, we've only been 3D printing homes in America for about five years. It's still very new. We're at the very beginning, and we discover new things every single day as we do this work.